And they decide bottle for saving energy in the school. And uh, yes, uh, we take a photo together. After class, they wrote uh, what they learned from Cold Water. I will show some uh, sample. What I learned in Thailand, the demand of more electric power, uh, high demand, but it's not enough, so Thailand import electric from Lao, PR, and other countries. Uh, Indonesia can produce electric energy in many ways, such as solar cell, wind energy, hydroelectric power, and Indonesia have campaigned for everyone to save energy. Uh, what I impressed uh, or interest in, I impressed the way save energy of Indonesian friend because it's a simple way and everybody can do such as open the window instead of open air conditioner. Moreover, we will get school wind from the nature. What I will do next, I will share the idea to another for safe energy. Uh, I made a project to save energy with friend. Oh, and next hour uh, we will show video
I have a question regarding language. Language was one of the main challenges that we encountered in our cross-border experience. Uh, from what I understood from the videos, the, the cross-border lessons were conducted in English. Is this representative, the level of English of the students in these uh, schools, or were they more advanced learners than average students in the respective countries? In our cases, with students, it is a normal classroom, not a special one. Just look randomly. So that it's representative of the level of English for students uh, in ninth grade in yes. Indonesia? Yes. Okay. And in, because, uh, given English, uh, but they are not simply speaking, but they understand. Okay. And in, and in the case of Thailand? In our case, in fact, we have 